Hey guys, welcome to my house. Uh, I just want to show you something. I got a new new product out. This is a true double trigger. A little different from, from the swing trigger that you've already seen. And you can see lines up with the old one pretty nice. So it's really just adding on this extra little bit at the bottom. I'm making the guards now out of uh, carbon fiber reinforced nylon. Same price, 45 bucks. A lot more expensive material, but um, you know, if you're concerned about how rigid it is, this is it. All right. But what I want to show you is, so you got your brand new trigger, trigger kit in the mail. How do you put it on your gun? Well, I'll show you. All right. I got the foregrip off. I took the barrel out. The first thing I'm going to do is take the grips off. Two screws here, two on the other side. That'll get the grips off. All right. Got the grips off. Now there's three screws to take out of the grip frame. That's the last of them. I like to keep all my screws together so I don't lose them. Now I'm going to pop out these tabs up here. These, uh, those things. And I got to get the top off. Um, let's get the top off of it. Push those in there, slide her back. Oh, it's dirty. But then push these pins out. Get the pins out. Set them over by our screws. Here comes that. Okay. Now at this point we could actually take the eye covers off. And out comes the gun. This is the gun itself. I like, I've got the, I don't know if you can see that in there, but I've got the red, red Boss 302 bolt in there. It's a phenomenal bolt. You can actually lower, you can lower your operating pressure. So it's got a super smooth shot. I really like how that works in this marker. Now I've just got to take some screws out and I'll show you those. Okay, so uh, as far as taking the screws out, these are all cap head screws, but there's three different lengths. Uh, I cut the nose off my Defender. I wanted to make it a little shorter, but there would be one, two, three, four, five short ones, a medium mid-sized one, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five long screws, and you got to get this out too. Be careful when you're taking this off that you don't lose the lid spring. The lid spring slots in uh, down in here, but anyway... Now this will just kind of part right open. Ta-da! We're in. Oh, we're in. This is actually, this is the regulator right here. This is the gas tube. And that, we can actually slide this right in there. Boom. There you go. Pretty cool. Um, if we slide that all the way down, we can see how the trigger actually, oh, one hand, how the trigger actually operates. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take this one out and put a new one in. All right, you made it this far. Give yourself a pat on the back. From here, it's real easy. We're just going to take out this trigger pin. But something I want to point out first, though, is when I close this up, you notice how that, you know, uh, focus you. You notice how that trigger spring kind of lines right up nice in there and coils, coils into this little pocket that they've got set up for us. And further, if you look at that set screw, it's hitting right against that bump there, just like it's supposed to. And I've looked at the other guy's design. I don't know if he thought of that. It doesn't look like he did. Uh, hopefully he'll fix that in later designs because this is how the trigger needs to work. So anyway, pop out this trigger pin, real easy, and take out the trigger guard, real easy. There we go. Now we're totally broke down. Okay, so we got the old and the new. And all we gotta do now is we gotta swap over the spring. So we just kinda left hand unscrew that. Because it's a coil, you can just kinda, you can get it on there just like a screw and just kinda wind it on there. Give it a little twist, just like a screw. And there we go. The spring's a little whooped. <laughs> but uh, there you have it. And so, We'll take this, easy does it, and that just goes back up in there, 
Where's my trigger pin? There it is. This was a little hard to do with one hand, but got it started. Get that trigger spring into that little pocket. There we go. Let's give it a little snug. That's snug. There we go. Nice. Perfect. And then the trigger guard. Now the trigger guard is going to fit a little tight, and it's supposed to. That's where we get our strength from, especially up here in the front. This is going to carry most of our load. Squeeze that in there and line up that slot, and there you go. So there you have it. Now let's get her back together. Short, medium, long. The medium one goes in here. Goes in the middle of the gun. The rest will be long screws. Okay, so you got your, uh, what is it, 11 screws back in there. Got your, th you got your three grip frame screws in. You're ready to throw on your grips. You're ready for the gun to go back inside the body. And uh, that's pretty much it. Throw the gun in there. Then you can install your eye covers. Then this tray can go in. Um, put the pins back in. Long one in the back. Short one in the front. I've still got those four trigger screws roll or four grip grip screws rolling around up there. But uh, there you go. There you have it. Got her all back together. And uh, check her out. Oh, sweet mama. Much better. Isn't she? Thanks for watching, guys. And good luck on the field.